Hey everybody, welcome back to another video, and this is John, and I'm just going to be doing a uh, informing video, just uh, telling you guys some stuff, so uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. So the figure in front is, uh, I've already posted him, I showed you guys on my last video, he's really cool. Um, I gave him his official gun, I wish I could have gave him a M4 A1 from Tiny Tactical, which, uh, you know, that's fine, I could always, uh, you know, update that, I'll, I'll eventually give him one, so, uh, that's really cool. So, I posted him, uh, he was, I really like this figure, because he was a very simple figure to make, and, uh, yeah, I actually went off a real reference picture of this minifigure, so, that's pretty cool. I actually go off real reference pictures for all my minifigures, just in case you guys, uh, were wondering, so, that's pretty cool. Uh, but anyways, I was going to talk about figures that I am planning to redo because I have made a couple figures that I want to redo. So um, I'll go ahead and talk to you guys about that. So my first figure that I definitely, definitely need to redo is my Chris Kyle. You guys all remember him. Uh, he was one figure that I did a really good job on his three color desert uniform. But as for his vest, face, and uh, cap, I absolutely don't like that at all. I didn't really like the way he looked. The sunglasses were really a pain at the time. But I, I have gotten good at that now. So that's one figure I have to completely redo. Because um, my last one was just awful. But uh, that's one minifigure that I want to redo. I am going to be making a couple more marine minifigures. So like for instance, uh, you guys uh, probably remember my uh, my woodland, my uh, desert marpat. So that's one I did. I need to make this figure official, like make the matching helmet and whatnot. So that's uh, one thing. I guess I could go ahead and tell you guys my next figure. Uh, I'm working on a Desert Marpat, so it's going to be um, like similar to my AOR 1 pattern, but it's going to be a lot different. It's going to be, I guess I'm going to make it more simple looking, uh, for that way it won't be like as intense as uh, painting my uh, AOR 1. So it's going to look like this, just uh, I'm going to change up the pattern uh, a bit, like maybe add less, uh, you know, uh, details to it but it's gonna look really good and I'm gonna I have uh, that figure planned he's gonna look really good I need to order uh, his weapon so that's that also um, if you guys would like to see a review let me grab it really really quick uh, let's see I got a couple of these uh, weapons right here all right these ones are good so I picked up some of the minifig or yeah minifig cat m110 uh sniper rifles if you guys would like to see any reviews on these like if like um here we go here's this if you guys would like to see any reviews on this weapon just to see if they're like a good minifigure scout and if they're worth buying because you don't want like a weapon that is like taller than the figure so there's that one this one's probably my my more favorite like favorite one so I could do a uh, review on this one as well I think that'll be my next video because these weapons are really cool so that is that let me stand up this figure and if you guys have any suggestions I could add to that saw gunner uh, uh, please uh, let me know I know I'm going to be making him a vest underneath but uh, that's that and uh, what else uh, yeah I just wanted to I want to definitely redo my Chris Kyle, but that's pretty much that. And uh, thank you guys so much uh, once again for everything, and um, I appreciate it a lot. Thank you guys once again. And uh, that's pretty much what's going to wrap up this. Oh, yeah, also, I'm going to be doing uh, some more Snake King weapons. This weapon was really nice. I like the way that turned out. So... That's pretty much it. Thank you guys once again, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.